guys, welcome to uh, another Ross Squad Retro Reviews. As uh, mentioned in the uh, intro, uh, we're going to be playing Bonks right here, man. Actually, I, I played this and I had to uh, just cut out a lot of my uh, defeats. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I did continue. Uh, but I just clipped it all together just so I can get most of the uh, gameplay and the different boards in here. So you guys can just get an idea. Whoever hasn't played Bonks, and you know, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few of you out there that maybe haven't. Or didn't have the experience with the Turbo Graphics 16 when it was released back in 2016. But with emulation nowadays, I mean, uh, the experiencing, uh, the chance to experience these games are, they're there, man, and they're very not expensive. Um, but definitely with the um, uh, soon to be released um, new uh, uh, Turbo Graphics 16 Mini, which obviously is jumping into the Mini craze, um, definitely. Uh, is something that um, I thought you guys would enjoy uh, just, to, just to see what my thoughts were going to be on and I definitely enjoyed just doing it because experiencing these things again is pretty cool and Boxes definitely was the mascot for the TurboGrafx-16 um, you had Mario which was Nintendo you had Sonic of course who was Sega and Bonx which was a company by you know which was for TurboGrafx which was left way behind when it came to uh, the uh, supposed console wars, um, which was definitely dominated by the um, Nintendo and um, Sega. Unfair that uh, obviously Nintendo, if everybody knows this or not, but Nintendo kind of monopolized um, the uh, different uh, game uh, software companies, so they'll be the ones to uh, be able to get the games from these. Uh, different companies which is the main reason I, I can honestly tell you that I believe they won um, because Sega definitely had a good opportunity to do it but they had to depend on themselves which shows how good how, what a great company Sega was because they were able to create their own different um, um, games and, and, and uh, 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 experiences just just you know just by them creating their own uh, different games so that that's a big plus for them but on the other end of the uh, spectrum, NEC, uh, which were the uh, the people who uh, were behind um, the Turbo Graphics uh, console, they actually had to uh, make a lot of their own games themselves, which is re really really cool. Um, but with that being said, I definitely wanted to experience this again and just see the different colors and see the different schemes. I'm doing this with my PlayStation Classic since I was able to. Um, since I was able to uh, mod that PlayStation Classic, I did a video just to show you guys I've been using the Auto Bleam and the Retro Arch. And I have the whole Turbo Graphics uh, library on my console. So that's what I'm using right now. I'm using uh, the PlayStation Classic to uh, play this and, and uh, show you guys uh, pretty much what the game is. Um, with that being said, I don't know. I'm on the fence with me getting a Turbo Graphics Mini. Uh, and I know that it has about 60 games. They are missing some games, I think, in there that, from what I see, some of the reviews, some of the guys are putting out there, they are missing a few games, and um, I think I didn't see Bloody Wolf in that lineup, and Bloody Wolf is an awesome, fun, fun game. So, I think that uh, the company that's behind the new Turbo Graphics Mini, it's not NEC because they were able to buy it. Uh, this company was able to buy the rights from uh, the NEC. If I'm not mistaken, excuse me as I'm looking this up, guys. Yes, we do this live. We do this live. You guys know this. Uh, Sunsoft, it looks like. Yeah. Hudson Soft. I'm sorry. Hudson Soft uh, designed the new TurboGrafx-16 Mini, which is being released on March 19, 2020, and is being sold. Is this correct? Can't be, can't be correct. And it's sold exclusively through Amazon. That don't sound right to me. Eh, that would be unfair. That'd be unfair. I kind of like the fact of going to, uh, going to you know the different uh, retail stores like Walmart or, or or Target or Best Buy and picking up things myself. I don't want something to be shipped to me. Some people like that. I like the experience of actually going and get it. I don't know of an Amazon store that's anywhere near me. I'm here in New York. Um, everything, I mean, I do see the Amazon trucks, you know, all over the place, but I think it's unfair. They're monopolizing it 
uh, if they're going to be doing that. Again, that, uh, that's another point that will put me on the fence about getting one immediately because if they're going to do that, then what's the sense of me, um, you know, uh, of getting it when I already have the whole library and I have them in great emulated detail. They're in HDMI and they're on my PlayStation Classic. I wouldn't have to spend any more for it. I know I'm getting off the topic of Box. Box is a fun, fun side-scrolling game. Uh, it's their, It was their mascot way back when. Um, and um, they made several different uh, parts to it. His, uh, his, <laughs> his journey throughout the, uh, the different uh, game series. Uh, Box Adventure, uh, Box Revenge, uh, uh, Box Super Adventure, and so forth. Um, obviously, he's called Bonks because of his head. How does he keep his balance with that head that big? I don't know. But um, obviously, you go through the different levels uh, in a side-scrolling adventure. You meet different enemies as you go abo uh, around. You use your head and you bonk the enemies. And um, there's a part in there that uh, when Bonks um, eats meat, he goes uh, crazy. He gets carnivorous. He changes into this beast. But as you can see, like right here, you use his head uh, uh, to um, to defeat all the enemies. And um, sooner or later, they'll start uh, flashing, and they'll show that they're weak. They're they're weak. One of the things about this game that I noticed that, other than that, you can't tell if 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 the uh, enemy is losing energy because there's no energy bar for him. There's only your energy bar up there. As you progress throughout the game, you only start with three hearts. But as you progress throughout the game. You get, uh, you're able to uh, pick up more hearts and uh, and uh, make yourself at least more stronger, so you can battle some more of these uh, guys. But colorful, uh, cartoon-like, um, just a fun, fun game. The music is great. Um, the story is pretty cool. This one kind of like threw me off a little bit because uh, they have a, a, a the, the the boss of this game is uh, actually a, a king dinosaur. Which it looks like to me they were kind of like, um, hmm, maybe some copyrighted trademark issues, but Nintendo didn't jump at it because uh, we know about Bowser, and this guy just reminded me a lot of Bowser. But um, fun, fun game. Beautiful graphics. The Turbo Graphics was a fun, fun system. Unfortunately, because of the uh, the market the way it was, uh, did not make the impact it should have made um, here in North America. But uh, in Japan, it actually did very, very well. Um, fun game, man. Fun game. Again, I can't tell you how many times I had to uh, stop and restart. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you guys some of the highlights and some of the different uh, uh, boards and battles. Obviously, at the end, when you play this game throughout every uh, board uh, or every level, you end up beating a boss at the end of that level. And at the end of the game, which is right now is where we're getting to, at the end of that, you end up... Uh, battling each of the those bosses again one by one and then here you have um, you're gonna uh, the, 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 the whole storyline is you're gonna save the princess who the princess dinosaur uh, who uh, or the dinosaur princess maybe I'm saying it wrong the dinosaur princess who for some reason is um, captured or, or her crown has been taken away by a king dinosaur who's a big big baddie and he's on a moon area, and you gotta go fight him. And um, after you beat the regular uh, bosses that you met throughout the game, this is the last battle guy that you have to fight, and he's completely different from the other ones. And as you can see, uh, he'll be coming up shortly. You'll be able to see what he looks like. Um, the game does get you into it, though kind of tricky sometimes to figure out where exactly is it that you hit them especially this guy because he's kind of like uh, you can't really see him because he's kind of drawn the only way you again you know that you hurt him is when he flashes when you hit him boy that head must be something else how does he keep his balance up anyway just wanted to revisit uh, some of the uh, fun games I played uh, with the turbo graphics and uh, Eventually, he comes out of that that outer shell where you just saw his drawing, and then you can actually see what he looks like in color. And um, you end up beating him, man. And uh, 
you bring uh, you, you bring peace back to the dinosaur land or the Stone Age or whatever. I, I always thought that Bonx had something to do with Chub Rock when I used to play the Chub Rock or Chuck Rock game. I'm sorry, the Chuck Rock game, but no, they're different. Um, but um, I was hoping that they have a cameo of Fred Flintstone, and this would be fun. But um, you end up uh, defeating the king, the evil king dinosaur, and uh, you bring the crown back to the princess, the dinosaur princess, and everyone uh, comes out of that craziness, and um, they become happy, and just a fun, fun game. Um, going to go ahead and probably do another Turbo Graphics uh, video game uh, video. This time I probably want to do Operation Wolf. The wife is pretty good at this game also. She plays it, uh, but uh, uh, she, I, to be honest, I, I, we both kind of like hit this because I did some parts and since she did some parts because uh, I died a lot and she died a lot, so we did the best of each. So, uh, you know, she beat some of the bosses and I beat some of the bosses and she actually won the game. She beat it at the end. She's the one that brought this one out. So if you hear her at another uh, video, uh, you know, gloating, that's what that's about. <laughs> We're a team here at Rod Squad, and we're the Rod Squad, so. But uh, fun stuff. This is the ending to the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll finish this up so you guys can just see this and not hear my crazy voice. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, more videos to come soon. As always, uh, we'll leave it as keep it retro, guys. Keep it retro.